guys my first job today I'm gonna be doing the whole house here not really this deck too much probably gonna touch it up a little bit we're mainly looking at these cedar shingles here all natural not painted and cedar shingles on the garage and we are going to be doing the roof on this garage here doing a little bit of work on this deck here you can see all the cedar shingles in the back Hoses pulled out. I'm gonna grab a ladder to do the roof on the garage. Cause I can't. I could shoot it from the ground, but over here to the right of the garage, and over here we'll probably do it off that deck. But over here you can't really see the roof, so you need a ladder. Otherwise, yes, we technically could shoot it from the ground. Now let's get to it. Yep, Callum's got that six foot aluminum soft wash wand with the J-Rod at the end. I'm watering down everything with this Ghoul's Booster Pump. Hitting that deck, all that wicker furniture there. And he's applying that chemical with little to no overspray because we've got that nice light wand on there. Right, so I'm just uh, back on the right side of the house here near the truck and just pre-wetting everything, pre-wetting all these cedar shingles here before Callum comes through with the mix and starts to spray. And then I will go to like under the deck there, well on the deck there, and this little wall here. Start wetting these right now, so by the time he's done spraying that, this will stop dripping so much. And it'll still be covered in water, and it'll be ready to apply. You can see how good those shingles are coming out where Callum is right there. Yep, you really want to um, rinse these very well though, guys. Really soak the wood up with water. And then, so you can remove the outer layer. Because we're not removing the whole goddamn shingle. We're just removing the outer layer of mold in mildew and algae. Again, this is also why we do use a long wand a lot of the times when we do cedar shingles. Because we're spraying such a, a, he a harsh mix up there that we don't need to be getting any overspray all over the place. And we want to be saving the chemical as well. So it's not like you want to be really using like a red gun. I've thought about it, you know, shooting it through this big gold booster pump and stuff. But I don't know, I like keeping this fresh water as well but and I just think it would just be way too much chemical it'd be all over the place you know that's just me and uh, again you know rinsing this deck this deck has some stain on it and um, just want to make sure that it's really nice and wet basically the bleach doesn't even touch it and also of course all your plants and tape up all your outlets guys you guys can see right there, we're going to touch that up a little bit more later on. You can see a few spots here and there that do need to be touched up on that wall. But it doesn't look bad, guys. I like to just spray it once, you know, let it sit for about 10 minutes, go back, touch it up, and repeat the process, basically. Because if you keep spraying it on there over and over again, all at once, it's just, I don't know, it just doesn't work out as well. And of course, keep the glass wet, nice and wet. Uh, we got the fan spray in the back here. Then we're gonna hit this roof here. And do that roof on the garage, probably from the deck. And the cedar shingles over there. And do this whole deck. Finishing up this wall here. I'm just hitting all these windows, making sure there's no streaks on them. And I'll stay on them honestly because the sun is out on it. We don't want these drying up. And there we go, Calum finishing up these roofs here. You already hit this smaller roof that right above the gun there. And he's hitting that with the shooter tip. Nice and easy. And we'll put the ladder on the other side. 
Alright, we're all set with the whole main house there, and that little section of roof, the roof on the garage. So I'm just pre-wetting the rear of the garage, and I'll be pre-wetting that right side, or left side in the video, of the garage. And Calum will come back, spray it all up, and we'll be all done. Alright, so like I said, we're just cleaning up the back of this garage and finishing up on the right side of the garage, technically. And Calum actually took off the six-foot wand. I personally wouldn't have, but it's not that tall. Um, so, nice and easy shot. I mean, this thing's still in a fan spray. You can see he sprays very far. Um, we'll have to do a test on the fan spray. Make sure what we got for a real distance on it. That would actually be a good test because we know what with the shooter tip we do get about 43 feet. This is a 110 booster pump, guys, that we always use. Stainless steel head on it. It's nice. You can get it at softwashfactory.com. Alright, guys, we're all set here. We're gonna spray this wall one more time. This wall was doing good. Again, we did all this deck here, all this decking. This little roof up here is looking good now. That roof there, is nice and treated. These shingles really came back to life, guys. It's looking great. That's the next project.